The telecom industry has long been on the verge of revolution, and this year's milestones reinforce that stance. So what have we learned, and what new frontiers will we face in 2024? Caroline Shan, VP of the Network and Edge Group at Intel, joins me with a look back at the developments of 2023 and her outlook for the year ahead. Welcome, Caroline. So as we wrap up 2023, any thoughts on the year and the current state of the telecom industry? So we are continue seeing the desegregation of uh, hardware and software that is happening uh, in a faster pace than ever. We see VRAM and ORAM being uh, gaining momentum, although still at a smaller scale of the total market, but the momentum is definitely there. I think the other th key theme that really popping up is sustainability, power consumption. That is not just the one something that facing the telco uh, industry, but facing all industries. And no one can deny the the momentum of AI. AI is changing everything. It's definitely also changing the uh, the telecom industry. So it's been a very interesting year. Have you heard any recurring themes or priorities that come up in your industry conversations? Sustainability. Um, many times it's a industry initiative. Sometimes it's also a government mandate. How do I get more out of the network that uh, I deployed? And, and in other words, return of investment um, beyond just the, the, the consumer side. So some things like edge, edge AI, private networks, uh, taking 5G, into the enterprise side and running a much more softer and intelligent network. Now, um, because the desegregation, it is posing organization challenges to many operator, operators. So how do I make it such that I put the, the pieces back together effectively and efficiently at a total uh, TCO, much lower TCO? That, that has been the, uh, the recurring theme. So, Caroline, as we move into 2024, what's the greatest area of opportunity and how should the ecosystem and CSPs lean into that opportunity? As, as we can see that what 2023 has shown us, definitely the desegregation will continue. The power of AI will continue to drive um, the ecosystem. So Intel and VMware are working closely together to harness the power of software uh, how does the power of uh, uh, the F FlexRAN? We work closely with VMware, for example. FlexRAN has a API that we, together, we develop a RIC and develop uh, the PTP and, and SYNC-E function, which is really important, a timing function. We also develop, uh, drive a adoption of this uh, RIC throughout the ecosystem. We've done through the 5G Open Innovation Lab in Seattle. We've actually curated uh, RIG uh, partners in this application partners. We drove a uh, hackathon. All of these as a great example of how two companies can work together to really drive uh, ecosystem adoption. The other point I wanted to point out is that we see a great uh, demand for sustainability, for lower power consumption. And you can solve that with a lot of AI. So we, together with a very large uh, EMEA uh, service provider, Intel and VMware provided that close loop uh, monetization of uh, uh, the power consumption to drive, to allow the um the multiple different uh, vendors to run on the same platform and using the power of AI to drive dynamic sizing, to drive uh, to resource real-time resource allocation. All of these are examples by having a more intelligent and more software-oriented network, you could drive a much better outcome using data that's harnessed through AI and through an uh, API. Well, Caroline, thank you very much for your perspectives today. Thank you.